When using Umbraco CMS to manage your website, you will notice that the language in the back office is English. This is only by default though, as the language can be changed depending on your needs. My name is Sophie, and in this video, I'll show you how you can change the language for users in the Umbraco CMS back office. Let's take a look. This here is the back office of an Umbraco CMS installation. As you will notice, all of the, the text and the buttons here, everything is in plain English. This will be the same as you click through the back office. All of these buttons and information areas will all be written in English. If you want to change the language of the Umbraco back office, this needs to be done for the individual users of the website. So I've navigated to the user section here. And you might have a few more users than I have on this test website here. But in order to change the language used, I would click on the user. And then here in the profile box, there is a option called language. And it says set the language you will see in the menus and dialogues. So changing this will change the language used in the back office for this particular user. So I'm from Denmark, so I'm best at Danish. So let's try to change the language of the back office to Danish. We'll select Danish here, click Save. Great. So you might not see the changes right away, as there will be some caching that needs to be cleared up first. There we go. After refreshing the site, we can see that most of the text areas here are now in Danish. Let's try to go to my user one more time. So over here, let's try to open the drop down again. And you can see that there is actually a lot of different languages that you can change the back office to for your users. So it really depends on which language that each of your back office users prefer to use. Now, I'm so used to the Umbraco back office in English, so let me just change this back to English US. There we go. And refresh one more time. Here we are. And that's really all there is to it. That is how you can change the language of the Umbraco back office based on the users who are using it. And now it's your turn. Go ahead and see if a different language would fit the users for your Umbraco CMS back office better. I'm sure they'll appreciate you for it. That was all for this video. Remember to keep an eye on the channel for more new content. Have a good one.